Hey guys, I'm turning on my video because it actually snowed today and it's actually the first snow of 2022. Um, but the goal of this video is to help you understand how fresh wire printing works with snow. It's really fun. Um, and you know, I've been talking about tissue engineering lately. Um, and you know, I wrote an article about an article about it, and I'm even building a fly printer. But I realized that I never really use an analogy to explain how support baths work. Um, so I guess to give you an intro or a background information, fresh fly printing is basically a fly printing technology. Um, it consists of a 3D printer, and the extruder of the 3D printer is essentially a syringe, and um, that syringe contains something called a biolink, which is a mixture of cells and hydrogels. And then you extrude that biolink into whatever shape you want. Um, for tissue engineering, which is essentially making artificial tissues, you would be extruding your biolink into the shape of real tissue. Okay, that's the foundation. But when you extrude your biolink, remember it's like made out of cells and hydrogels. It's like super soft. Um, it's like jello think about it um and when you just like extrude that hydrogel into the into the air um just like on a plate it would collapse because it's so soft that it can't even bear its own weight um so we need a system to keep this biowink in place so that it you know cures um in the exact shape that it was extruded in so one way that researchers found out how to do this is through support baths which are um, slurry of granular hydrogel. Um, and so right now I'm just gonna de demonstrate how the support bath works. Okay, so um, this is just like a pile of snow. It's pretty deep. Um, I could even just like put my head in it. It's kind of weird, whatever. Um, but anyways, um, imagine that this is a support bath, okay? So um, if we just like draw a circle, you know, if we say this circle is kind of like a cylinder, um, you're just looking at it from the top. It's a container containing the support bath, okay? Um, and then let's say we have these branches that are like the biolink. Of course, the biolink are soft, not hard like these branches, but let's just assume that it's soft, okay? Just pretend. Um, so there's this 3D printer, and then it's gonna extrude the hydrogel into the support bath. So it'd be going like this going in and then you notice how the branch isn't moving that's because the snow is holding this branch in place so that it can't move so that it doesn't like collapse like that that's exactly what support baths are doing so they consist of granular like micro scale particles like the texture of hydrogel um just like how snow is made out of particles i guess like what do you call them ice particles <laughs> um so they just clump together around this extruded branch so that it stays in place like that. Um, I hope that was helpful and see you in my next video. Bye!